are Labradors hypoallergenic? No, Labradors are not hypoallergenic. We'll explain what this means in the information to follow. But the short answer is that because Labradors shed their coats on a seasonal basis, they are among the breeds that are considered not hypoallergenic. Before I move on with the video, I want to ask you a simple question. Do you want to train your dog for any basic commands like sit and stay? Do you want to stop any of the behavioral problems of your dog like pooping inside the house, biting, jumping, or barking? If your answer is yes, please grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him or her. This secret training technique ebook is available for free only for a limited time. So go and grab it before it's too late. Link to the free ebook and training videos is in the description below. What does hypoallergenic mean? The word hypoallergenic means, something that is unlikely to cause an allergic reaction. However, the breeds of dogs that are referred to as hypoallergenic can still cause these reactions. An allergic reaction happens when a person's immune system has a reaction to specific proteins, also known as allergens. When a person is allergic to dogs, it means their immune system is reacting to allergens produced by the dog. These allergens can be found not only in the dog's fur but also in his dander, saliva, urine, mucus, etc. This means that even hairless dogs produce allergens. Some people with dog allergies don't react to all dog allergens. Because of this, these people may be able to tolerate some dogs better than others. Not all dogs, even of the same breed, produce the same allergens. This means that sometimes a person may have a reaction to one dog but may be perfectly fine with another, even if they came from the same litter. All dogs produce allergens of some type. However, some produce fewer allergens than others and they may be less likely to trigger allergic reactions. People who have extreme allergies or asthma may still be triggered by these dogs. The myth of the hypoallergenic dog. Many studies have been done to see if hypoallergenic dogs actually produce fewer allergens than other types of dogs. So far, none of these studies have found any significant difference in allergen levels between breeds. In fact, there were several instances when the allergen levels were higher in the homes of people who owned hypoallergenic dogs. People mainly associate dog allergies with the hair or fur on the dog. Consequently, when a particular breed of dog is known for not shedding its fur, it is often mistakenly labeled as hypoallergenic. As previously mentioned, the allergens also come from a dog's dander, dandruff, saliva, urine, etc. Therefore, no canine is completely hypoallergenic. In fact, those dogs who shed very little may cause just as many allergic reactions as those who shed a lot. They may simply cause different allergic reactions. All dogs produce saliva and dander to some degree, even hairless ones. These allergen types and amounts seem to vary among dogs as well as how they affect different people. A person who is allergic to one breed of dog, or even a particular dog within a breed, may not be allergic to another. Sometimes the size of the dog can come into play as well. The smaller the dog, the fewer allergens he produces due to the smaller amounts of hair, saliva, etc. The larger the dog, the more allergens he can potentially produce. Does this mean I can't have a lab? Not necessarily, but if you are someone who is very sensitive to allergens then a Labrador may not be the best dog for you. However, if you don't have severe dog allergies, then owning a Labrador could be quite manageable for you. Some tests have shown that labs may have fewer allergens than some of the other large breeds. Owning a lab would be dependent on several factors. There are several things you can do to lower the allergens in your home but you have to decide if owning a lab is worth it. How much do labs shed? Labradors are known for regularly shedding their coat. 
The amount of hair your dog will shed is unique to each dog and can also be affected by climate. Most labs shed some throughout the year and then shed a lot at least twice a year. There is usually about a three-week period in the spring where they will shed their heavy winter coat to prepare for the warm weather. This process repeats itself in the fall as they lose their thin summer coat and begin bulking up for the cold winter months. However, some labs are known to shed heavily year-round. It often depends on the dog. Labs have very dense hair as they have a double coat. The sleek out layer is waterproof. Labs love swimming and this waterproof coat serves them well. The undercoat is more coarse and denser to help keep them warm. The double coat makes them tolerant of many different temperatures and allows them to swim even in cold water. However, this wonderful, thick coat also means that they shed quite a lot. Should I shave my lab? No, you should never shave your lab. As previously mentioned, Labradors have a dense, coarse undercoat used for insulation. Over that layer is the outer coat which helps to resist dirt and moisture. When you shave your Labrador, you remove his protective coating, leaving his skin susceptible to rashes and sunburn. It's also important to understand that shaving does not actually decrease his shedding. It simply makes the hair he sheds shorter. Another reason you never want to shave your lab is that it may cause his hair to grow back with a different appearance than before. So, avoid shaving your Labrador or you may end up with a dog whose coat doesn't look quite right. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel, Little Paws Training, if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.